the Aosta Valley, known locally as Valle d'Aosta, is almost unheard of outside of Italy, and yet it's a region that offers so much as both a travel and holiday destination, and a get away from all lifestyle if you intend to relocate and live there. So, what do you know of Valle d'Aosta, or the Aosta Valley region of Italy? In this video, you'll learn of 20 interesting and helpful facts about the Aosta Valley region in Italy, including some familiar names and places that you may have thought are French or Swiss. So, buckle yourself in for a whistle-stop tour of the Aosta Valley. Number 1. The Aosta Valley. How big or small is it? The region is the smallest in Italy and is an alpine valley in the northwest of Italy bordering France, Switzerland and the Italian Piedmont region. It covers an area of just over 3,200 square kilometres. It's also the least densely populated region in Italy too, of about 130,000, so you won't be surprised to learn that it's also the only region in the country that doesn't have any provinces. The official languages spoken are Italian and French, together with a dialect called Valdotan. However, do you know what the region's biggest claim to fame is? Whilst you're thinking about that, check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and forces on this channel that'll make your introduction to expat life in Italy and La Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of hot tips for when you visit or go to live in Italy. Now, have you figured out what the region's biggest claim to fame is? Here it is. Number 2. Claim to Fame The striking feature about Valle di Osta is that it shares with France and Switzerland the highest mountain in Europe. Mont Blanc Number 3. The capital city. Aosta is the capital of the region and has been very much influenced by its early Roman heritage and is why it's known as Rome of the Alps. There are numerous Roman and medieval historical sites in Aosta, including the amphitheatre called Porta Pretoria. Number 4. The influence of the Romans. Valle di Aosta is home to the post Saint Martin Roman Bridge, which, according to the local legend, is where San Martino, whilst on a pilgrimage, made a pact with the devil. The devil agreed to build a bridge in one night in exchange for the soul of the first man or animal that crossed the bridge, and to leave the inhabitants of the village in peace. The next day, San Martino let a dog run across the bridge, which was then killed by the devil. To celebrate the legend, a carnival was held every year in February. Number 5. The Castles the region has an abundance of impressive castles. One of the oldest castles is Fort de Barbe, which was built in the 10th century. The castle was destroyed in 1800 by Napoleon, however it was later rebuilt in 1830. Number 6. The Carnivals and Fairs There are a number of carnivals, fairs and celebrations that take place throughout the Valle of the Osta region, including Number 7. If you're into your arts and crafts, then head for the Sant'Orso Fair at the end of January. Dating back from many years ago, the Sant'Orso Fair welcomes over 1,000 artists and craftsmen to showcase their talents. The stalls and stands stretch right through the old town of Aosta. There are many traditional craft exhibits including drap weaving, which is a local rustic fabric made from sheep's wool and used to make furnishings with food and wine being enjoyed alongside some musical light entertainment, this could be a fair worth visiting. Number 8. The Kumba Frida Carnivals Kumba Frida is an area between Valpolina and the Great San Bernard Valley, when ten towns celebrate the area's history with month-long carnivals in February. In particular, the carnivals are held to remember the destruction of their villages and homes by Napoleon's troops in 1800, 
where the locals wear costumes and masks to mock the French soldiers. Number 9. From the end of March until the end of October, the Bataille de Reine Battles of the Queens takes place. It's a turf battle for the cows of the region that's held every year in St. Vincent. Cows from all over the region are brought together in a ring to instinctively face off with one another, with the prize being grazing rights. After claiming their territory in the ring and then knocking horns and headbutting, battle commences, with the winner being the cow that remains after its opponent turns away from the confrontation. Number 10. In July, in the Grand San Bernardo Valley, Visitors can enjoy four days of celebrations at the festival of the Valle di Osta Jambon de Bosses. This is in honour of the well-known local Bosses Ham, which is a fun-filled Italian food festival of great music and dancing and dinners of grilled meats and local produce washed down with plenty of wine. Number 11. For film buffs, the Grol di Oro Film Festival is held each October in San Vincent to celebrate and award Italian films and the stars. Number 12. The Casino San Vincent is also home to Europe's largest casino, the Casino de la Valle. Often referred to as the Alps Riviera, San Vincent has a mild microclimate in comparison to the rest of the region that makes it an all-year venue. The Church of San Vincenzo is also worthy of a mention as it was built in the 11th century by Benedictine monks and showcases religiously sacred and rare paintings and artefacts. Number 13. The Climate Being a region dominated by the Alps, it's the coldest region of Italy. The summers are cool, with an average temperature of about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take a degree or two, whilst winters are very cold, with an average temperature of about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It's no surprise to learn then that the Aosta Valley is known for the famous ski slopes of Courmayeur and Sabinia. In fact, Courmayeur is one of the most visited resort towns in Italy as it's known as the capital of mountaineering, where mountain guiding and touring has been taking place since the 1800s. Number 14. The Outdoor Life There are many opportunities to enjoy and explore the outdoor life and includes the many castles, fantastic views, great ski resorts, loads of hiking trails and an abundant wildlife. Number 15. The first national park in Italy, Parco Nazionale del Gran Paradiso, is established in the Aosta Valley. The Gran Paradiso Park covers a large rocky and mountainous area that includes larch and fir woods, glaciers and expansive alpine meadows rich in flora and fauna. Number 16. The Aosta Valley is known for its winter sports and becomes a winter playground for such sports as ice climbing, ice skating, ice hockey and curling. And of course the Aosta Valley is a skier's paradise as it has some of the best slopes in the world. Visit the resort of Monte Rosa if you can. There are also many cross-country skiing areas to enjoy for all grades of cross-country skier. For the ultimate in adrenaline pumped skiing, the Aosta Valley is renowned for heli skiing. Number 17. If you're more into your flying than your skiing, then you can choose paragliding, hand gliding, parachuting and air ballooning as your choice of natural highs. Just head for the Aosta Air Club at the Aosta Valley Airport. Number 18. The Thermal Spas of St. Vincent and Pre Saint Didier. Number 19. The wildlife. The most notable animal, which is now a protected species in the Aosta Valley region, is the alpine ibex, a wild goat. Having been hunted as sport for many years, those responsible for the Grand Paradiso National Park made an attempt to protect the ibex in 1922. However, the poaching lasted until 1945, when just over 400 were left in existence. Now there are nearly 4,000 ibex in the park, and long may it continue. Number 20. The Cuisine With all of that talk about the outdoor life, the country air and the exhilarating mountain exertions of skiing and hiking, it's no wonder that you're probably feeling hungry now. Most of the dishes are centred around hearty meals full of cheese, soup and meat, 
So what follows are some mouth-watering dishes and food you can expect to enjoy when you visit the Aosta Valley. 1. Ministro de Castaña y Riso, a rice and chestnut soup cooked in milk. 2. Jambon de Bosses, the Bosses ham, as celebrated in July at the Grand San Bernardo Valley Festival mentioned earlier. It's a spicy cured pork from San Rami on Bosses that's dark red with a salty flavour. 3. Capiola a la Valdostana, which is stewed venison cooked in red wine with vegetables and herbs mixed with cream and a pouring of grappa liqueur. 4. Typical sweet biscuits of the region are Tigola, which are crumbly biscuits containing almonds and hazelnuts. These are sometimes ideal as a quick breakfast snack. 5. Fontina, the most well-known cheese from the region. Made from alpine grass-fed cow's milk, it's been processed the same way since the 12th century. It's of similar texture to the French brie, with a mild nutty flavour and is an ideal cheese for fondue dishes. 6. Touten or Touten is made from cow udders and combined with various herbs, berries and spices. So, there you have it. 20 interesting and helpful facts about the Aosta Valley region in Italy. With that in mind, don't forget to download your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below and then please share with your friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.